Hi everyone, Scott here again. This video is going to be a Cisco Packet Tracer. This is activity 4.1.6.2 titled UDP and TCP port numbers. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to set up this client computer here to request a web page from the server. And then we're going to take a look at the data transfer and some of the protocols and ports that are used. So to get started, we will start with our client PC here, and we're just going to use a web browser to request an HTTP page. I'll make sure we're in simulation mode for this, and hit go. And then we can see that the the request has started. Since it's simulated, it's not moving forward yet through in time. So we'll just take a quick look at that before it actually gets started. And so here we have, we show that the application is requesting DNS. Um, DNS is done through port 53. And the UDP source is the return, basically, it's saying return your data through port 1025. So if we do an auto capture, and we can look at some of these other packets while it's continuing to process. So we can kind of see how these different layers are interacting with this single request. Um, for the most part, they don't need, we don't need to focus on these other port uh, layers. We want to focus on layers 4 and 7. So there we can see port 53 is that DNS port again. So this is from the server going back to that client computer for the DNS. And then the PC starts to request that HTTP, that web page, through port 80 on the server. So it addresses port 80 and says, alright, so give me this web page now. There it is, a little bit more in and out there. So then this is coming from the server saying, okay, here's the data for that web page. And that's pretty much all that we needed to do for this packet tracer. So I will see you hopefully in my next video.